Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. So, all right, so in this tutorial, we're in the Make the Cut software, and we're going to be showing you how to weld things together using the software program. And we're going to be welding some text together. And as you can see, this is the text that we uh, we created last time, is the Kung Fu Panda. And if you missed that tutorial, you can go ahead and check it out. Link's going to be in the sidebar or somewhere in this video. You can click on it and go to it. And we're not going to show you how to get the text on there. We're just going to show you how to weld things. So uh, one of the first things you're going to need to do in order to weld this text is we're going to have the selection box over our text here. And as you can see, when we do that, a little blue dashed line surrounds the text. And once we have that, that means we can perform shape magic to this text. And we're going to need to split it up. So in order to do that, we need to go to Edit, uh, Shape Magic, and we're going to go to Split. And that will allow us to click the individual letters uh, as you can see, the red box is formed around every time I click on a letter, and we can actually move these individual letters. And this is how we are going to weld. Now, all welding is is the simple, you know, the overlapping of these uh, these shapes. Or you know, you can do text, text on text. You can do text on SVGs. You can even, you know, bring in an auto trace and you know, put some put put these overlapping boundaries together on it. And then once you have it the way you want, you can go ahead and make that same uh, that same box around here. As you can see, it's uh, each one of those letters is now has a little blue dashed line around it. And then we can go to uh, edit, you know, and do some more shape magic to it. And we're going to choose the weld function. And once we do that, as you can see, all those overlapping boundaries are now, uh, you know, welded together. So it's sort of like one continuous cut, you know. So the so when you go to cut this, it won't be individual letters anymore. They were they are actually you know welded, welded together. So um, so I hope this tutorial helped with uh, with understanding on how to use the weld function with the make the cut software. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDude.com. I hope you subscribe to the channel.